Hi, I'm going to be reading The Unlucky Fisherman, written by Yibi Her. This book was written back in 2017 when Yibi was an eighth grader at Black Hawk Middle School, and the book was written as part of the Hmong literacy class at Black Hawk. Enjoy. So, it is dedicated to anyone who likes to go fishing. Long ago, there was a fisherman named Nab. He was named Nab because his father liked to go fishing and his father was the best at it. As a fisherman, he was always unlucky when he went fishing. One day, Nab decided to offer his fish to the, what he believed in, fish god. Every day when he was done fishing, he would leave behind an offering. One day, as Nab went fishing, he was able to catch a lot more fish than he would usually get. He had so much that he was able to feed almost all of the people in his town. For two weeks, Nab had been lucky with catching fish. He had been thinking about his offerings, so he decided to make more offerings to his fish god. As for the other fishermen, they weren't as lucky as he was. As they were fishing, Nab would catch a fish about every hour every two or three minutes, excuse me. So the other fishermen just stopped fishing. Weeks passed, so Nab decided to stop fishing because he felt bad for the other fishermen. So he let the f others fish. Some days he got crazy when he felt lucky, but he couldn't go fishing because of what he said he would do. One day after the dry season ended, Nab started fishing again when the rainy season came. As a fisherman, Nab knew that when it rains, it's the best time to go fishing. After one week of fishing, Nab caught a fish bigger than any that he had caught in the past. He tried to take the fish home, but he couldn't because of the size. So he decided to make a fire and cook the fish near the water so everyone could eat. One day, when Nab was home, he decided to give his fish away. At first, no one wanted any because most of the people in the village were fishermen. But after one man went to take some, everyone wanted a fish or two. Nab decided to move away because he wanted to explore the world some more. When he tried to fish again, he was not as lucky as he used to be and caught a pair of sandals. That was the end of his life fishing. the end. And that's an illustration by Yibi. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this st story.